Communicating via psychic rapport was our thing, Scott. Just stop it. Let me explain, please. That's what it was. <laughs> I know what I said. What? <laughs> he had a whole baby. <laughs> That's the line. <laughs> That's the hill you're gonna die on. What? And don't forget, he literally didn't know he sang the quote. Episode 5, Remember It, is the title, so maybe there'll be a bunch of member berries in this episode. Or is this the Naruto from Pilot? No, all right. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's fantastic. Xavier entrusted me with his dream. Um, can we just for one second pause? Embrace my kind as your own. But um, first of all, did anybody mention the professor's dead? Uh, second of all, just getting that out of the way, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure we'll hear it again. <laughs> yeah. Did we uh? Did we establish which of the two genes left? The it, it was the clone, I believe. Fair enough. I hope okay. so, or, or or this is gonna get really weird. I'm pretty sure it was the clone that left. I'm like ninety percent sure. <laughs> um, I don't know. Maybe they'll go over it in this episode. All righty, cool. <laughs> Because that's how history works. <laughs> Don't you guys love all this representation going on right now? Oh, yeah. Because the X-Men themselves aren't diverse enough. You know, we just got to really put it in your face. Yep. But at least they're killing gingers. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, those shades are weird at the lights. Can you take them off? I can't. Sorry. Uh, so, uh, back as team leader. Actually, pause it for one second. Marvel girl, I hear you're the X Men's power. <laughs> okay, so they do acknowledge her name was Marvel Girl. Okay, good to know. Second of, second of all, um, just put on your visor, Scott. I try to find a clip for that. And use it on a daily basis. <laughs> Just saying, it seems yeah, like right? a pretty easy fix. Yeah, I know. You're not. You're not wrong. I mean, he was willing to wear it with the with the douchebag hat. So. With that hat, right? Yeah. <laughs> Good enough for basketball. <laughs> Saw hospital records for one Nathan Charles Summers, born to Scott and Jean Gray Summers, just last month. Okay. Pause Carolina. for a second. Why would this bitch be so tactless? Uh, the way he's clearly avoiding the question, you know the answer. Or at least there's a reasonable way to infer the answer. Why wouldn't you <laughs> shut up? Modern journalism. Girl. As you're saying, it's exactly. <laughs> exactly. Uh, that's how she's trained. She's got to keep, keep digging. She's got to keep digging. The only difference is that she doesn't have Logan's healing factor. Correct. So I and don't we, expect I don't expect her to walk out of the scene. As you're gonna say, we are no psychorod in this show. Yeah. <laughs> he doesn't really hold back, so nope. Oh. I gave him up. I gave him up because you can't say thank you. Because I had to stomach your questions and prove that I'm a Okay, person. pause for a second. I told you not to engage. <laughs> That's my secret cap. <laughs> 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 what does any of this rant have to do with him giving up his kid? <sighs> literally, oh. literally, Sinister has nothing to do with mutant human relations. Oh man, he's he's triggered, man. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I think that's it. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I can't wait for her him to blow her away. I would love that. Do it. Do it. Do it. <laughs> <laughs> There's Palpatine when you need him. 
Recent events. That's bad PR. Yep. You think? <laughs> well, that went well. <laughs> well, he said you people, and that's just not right. Yeah. We need to be Christians. Whose charitable idea was it to let a human be on the council? Were no others available to weep over semantics? Moira's okay, pause for a second. And we all agree. Why in the fuck doesn't Magneto have his helmet on? He's dealing with Emma Frost. Exactly. Don't bad mouth Moria either, you you ungrateful bitch. <laughs> <laughs> what is wrong with you? <laughs> Moria's name out your fucking mouth. Exactly. I will Will Smith you. <laughs> yeah, they're like treating this like this is a, like an actual live action film where nobody wears helmets anymore. <laughs> yeah. the, it's like, but seriously, when he's dealing with a telepath, especially one that is That's um almost on this, on level with Charles, yeah, with a shall we say dubious morality. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's polite. It. Yeah, it is. <laughs> he wouldn't risk it. He'd have the helmet on just because he's not an idiot. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. No, what, no, what I think it is is that somebody somebody probably won a contest for his facial design. Mm. And the, because whoever won the contest, they probably have to – that he has to go the whole season until he, like – Goes full dark side again uh, without the helmet. That's probably my guess because because you're because you're right, TC. He would have the he would have the helmet on when he's dealing with Emma for sure. Yeah, he would. He definitely would. Yeah, maybe they just want us to just you know be enchanted by his flowy hair. I, I don't... <laughs> <laughs> Look how good he looks. <laughs> Maybe he's like JD from Scrubs. Maybe he's just upgrading to a hermit so he can just so he can have the hairstyle and the helmet at the same time. The same time. <laughs> Are there no others better tempered to stomach the squabble of human diplomacy? Aye, but Charles be gone, Magneto. Okay. Oh, not like it, but if Charles. There is no fucking way Magneto would say no to this. There, yeah, exactly. He'd no, like, Sign me like, up. like I don't know if he's playing some angle right now, you know. Yeah, <laughs> he must be like, like he doesn't care. Where do I like, sign? <laughs> yeah, like he and Doctor Doom would get along famously. Like, <laughs> yeah, I'm getting this sense, on the like, surface. Yes, but yeah. Well, yeah. no, but I, but I mean, like, yeah, <laughs> I, I don't mean like they would actually get along, but you know what I mean. Like their yeah. personalities match. Yeah. You know. Yeah, I feel like he's like, let me not act too enthusiastic about this idea. <laughs> like, maybe this is what he wants, you know, as part of his the grand scheme of things. Describe um, him to me. Describe me. Just for the record, the woman you loved and had a kid with is not that one. Exactly. Did you forget that part? I know. <laughs> I was just thinking that. I'm like, this isn't this, like, you can't just be okay with this transition. Like, <laughs> and she seems, you are not the mother. <laughs> she seems remarkably cool with it, too. It's like, she does. It's like, he technically had a kid by another woman, for God's sake. <laughs> and you don't even know how long it's been because you don't remember. That's the whole point. So wouldn't he realistically have stuck with the clone? Oof. I mean, it makes sense to me. Right. She doesn't know how long she was the clone. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> and she's the one you had the relationship with. <clears throat> when it comes to newborn Nathan Summers' original gene, you are not the mother. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Looks like looks like you did the Murray show meme a little too early there. <laughs> I mean, I, 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 I mean, let's go back to Doctor Who for a second. At least Moffat, you were able to follow, follow what was going on with that, and like, 
right who 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 was actually amy for the whole time and yes, yes. who was the who was the ganger and all of that stuff you were able to follow that and this is like you threw them both in a blender and whatever came out <laughs> came out <laughs> you get what you get <laughs> yeah <laughs> and Am I the only one who also finds it strange that immediately as soon as Real Jean shows back up, she's making she's macking on Logan? Just yeah. saying. <laughs> like, the things are weird. They're very weird. That whole that whole thing is probably just to appease the like lifelong right the lifelong you know ship on that on that front. Will they? Won't they? Yeah. Yeah. No, no, no! I get it, but again, like as far as we know, or I wish I had a better sense of time scale for this show, because it seems like a lot of shit has happened in very few episodes with very little. Like, I, I guess I'm confused how much time has passed in universe. Gotcha. Well, yeah, I, I think I think it like didn't it just pick up like right after the. Right, pretty much right after the, pef- the professor died. I think it was three months later. Or three or months, later. yeah. So it has. Uh, no, 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 I mean, I mean, like in this show, like mm. from oh, the like time, the time. It up, from gotcha. the time it picked up to now. Oh, okay. Yeah, I got how you. How long has it been? I'm confused. Okay. Uh, well, because a lot of shit has happened. Like, yeah. Not not Jean is apparently on the ruling council of Genosha. When she left screen like thirty seconds ago, right, like two episodes ago. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, I see what you're saying. Yeah, most yeah. people don't get promoted that fast. Yeah. Yeah. No. I, yeah. That's that's a good question. That's a good question. Um. Yeah. Referring to what you were saying earlier about Gina Logan, I actually thought they were probably going to push that angle more, just because I thought there would be this rift between original Gene and Scott. Because he was with the clone. So, like, but I mean, I thought that was like going to be a whole dynamic between the three of them, but it seems like they're just saying, fuck that potential. They're just ignoring that whole thing. Yeah. 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 I, I mean, I, I was the only, I, I made the joke about like now Logan has one too. So, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's like, well, somebody made a wish on the Dragon Balls and it came true. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> Clearly. Which is why you yeah, weren't there when he went away. But that's why you <laughs> fucked off. <laughs> I see these big brown eyes, these wild yeah, I'm not letting that go. That's it. I I'm also, out. <laughs> I love on the on the on the dresser there, the table stand. It's like clone jean. <laughs> 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 like, <laughs> like, what is this? <laughs> Like, how are you original Gene and not going to be phased or affected by this whatsoever? Like, I mean, I think she's just putting on a brave face for it a little bit, but but still, it's like, Scott, you got to be a little tactful. Plus, you fucked off at your first opportunity when it came to your son. So, like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> at least cut half of the photo out, leave the son in, cut both of your heads, something. I don't know. Fold like, the photo so it's just you holding him. Like, exactly. <laughs> oh man, no zero fucks. Yep, Don't her. Me. You can explain. Jean. If you'll excuse us, Madeline. Psychic rapport was our thing, Scott. Just stop it. Let me explain, please. That's what it was. What? <laughs> I know what I said. What? <laughs> He had a whole baby. <laughs> <laughs> That's the line. <laughs> That's the hill you're gonna die on. What? <sighs> and don't forget, he literally didn't know he banged the clown. <laughs> so how do you think that happened, Gene? <laughs> <laughs> I fucking can't. <laughs> I can't do this. I really can't. Oh my what god! Timeline? Are we living? <laughs> I want the blue pill. I want. The... Please. Or no, no. I want the red pill. Whichever one it is. 
Oh, oh God. God. <laughs> That's the line, really. That's it. That's it. <laughs> wow. Again, <laughs> he didn't know he banged the clone. And they've apparently had this connection for as long as she's been lo- like as long as she's been missing, clearly, because otherwise he would have noticed something was up. So how does that not occur to her? You know why? <laughs> and I hate saying this. Apologies to the chat. I'm not I mean to offend any women by saying this, but <laughs> in, her comes. Mind, in her mind, he should have known. <laughs> he should have known. No excuses. I was gonna, I was, I was gonna let you have this one, but dads, am I right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh God! <laughs> Hitting all the tropes today. Oh God! Oh, oh man! I think it's fair to say this is the most amusing episode of the show. Oh, gosh, by far, <laughs> by far. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. That's great. Oh, gosh. That's the line. That's, that's the one where you're like, fuck no. Like, yeah. Not the fact that he's been banging a clone for a <laughs> new and had a child with her. Oh, that's, like, that's like finding out somebody cheated on you, had a kid with the person, and then when he saw them again, he happened to have their favorite ice cream and just gave it to him, and you were like, fuck that. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. <laughs> that was ours. <laughs> that was our thing. <laughs> that was our thing. And wouldn't it make more sense for, you know, the two of them to be connected since they literally were and they're oh. literally the same person? You would think. And in fact, they were so connected, they can't even tell whose memories are real. Exactly. It, it, there you go. <laughs> like, oh, my God. Gosh. Oh, uh, see if a woman wrote this that's so cuts. I I can't, man. <sighs> yeah, I know you had a baby with her and you lived with her and you guys shared emotions. Mm-hmm. But you you gave her my ice cream. <laughs> 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 oh man! The saddest part is how well that analogy fits. Too. Yeah, yeah. This is crazy. This is. <laughs> you gave her my ice cream. We're fucking through. We're fucking done. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Oh, man. Yeah, I definitely haven't talked like this in any other episode. So. <laughs> Oh man! <laughs> oh, oh, this is standard fare for the channel, fellas. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I was checking in after she moved overseas, but we ended up. So, so wait, wait, wait a minute. He's actively been for a month. What the fuck? <laughs> that's how long this is. So that's the time. Wow. I'm con- okay. Wait, why? Why didn't? Seriously, OG Jean didn't even remember who she was. Why didn't OG Jean go to fucking Genosha and have the clone that he actually had the relationship with stay? The, the reporter's still there. <laughs> she is. <laughs> I they are just like us. <laughs> oh, oh, Dads, am I right? <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh man, dads and toxic white males. <laughs> Do you love her? It's fucking exactly. Love. Yes, he does fucking love her. <laughs> That's the one he married. Or even if it wasn't, like I. <sighs> the thing uh... is, what, what keeps tripping me up is they genuinely don't know. Yeah. So it's like, yeah, he loves her. That's the one he had a kid with. That's the point. The music's changing and you need a chair. What the fuck are you talking about? Wow, she is. (laughs) (laughs) Fucking delusion. (laughs) (laughs) I mean, like, the fact that she didn't catch on that he, you know, loved this woman after, you know, having a kid with them makes her look like a fucking idiot. I thought she was supposed to be a PhD. 
<laughs> yeah, you're right. <laughs> yeah, oh, man. I mean, in fact, he said he loved them both. Like, I mean, I can on some level understand that, you know? No, no, no I, I, I can too. But, but the fact that this surprises Gene, that's, oh, yeah, what, that, that's what's getting me. I'm yeah. like, are you, are you stupid? <laughs> Like Gene, it's not like it's a completely different woman, and he's like, "Oh, I, you know, like that's bullshit." <laughs> Again, like, she literally has no idea who whose memories are real. Literally cut from the same cloth, and uh, <laughs> she's giving him shit about it. it. Wasn't just about. He does realize that they're objectively human Something. in every way except their powers. Um, right. So yeah. how is their fashion going to be any different? The only people whose fashion are going to be different are going to be the freaking Morlocks and Nightcrawler. Like, <laughs> or not, not more, whatever. You know what I'm talking about, right? The the yeah. the, the mutants in the source. Yeah, yeah, the Morlocks. Yep, you, you, you're right. Oh, okay, I was right. Yep. Yeah. Oh, and Beast. Yeah. Demons and and mine. Like. It's this. I feel like the last few episodes have been very like theatrical, like very soap opery, like yeah, and dramatic. Is Magneto's powers protecting him from Rogue's touch? Is that a thing? Not to my knowledge. I'm not yeah, saying that 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 didn't ha- that 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 didn't become a thing eventually, but to my I've knowledge, it, it. it doesn't. Yeah, I agree. I'm with you there. I've never heard of that before, so. Me either. Heart may beat for me. Put on a fucking collar. <laughs> Light up everything you touch. Where's the lie? But never. <laughs> He's not. Seriously, just just have somebody make it into a bracelet. You have people who are smart enough. Do that, the and then you're fine. Yeah, we've already established that it can be done. So. <laughs> they have the technology. <laughs> okay, that's just mean. <laughs> yeah. Let's just cuck them right here. Like. <laughs> no, no, I mean she she made a tactical like she made she made a pragmatic decision. Plus, she love she has feelings for Magneto. That's fine. Showing off that you can touch that was not cool. Like legitimately not cool. Yeah, it's fucked. It's fucked. It's like one thing to know it, but then to see it, it's like fuck off. And, and they 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 broke up what what thirty seconds ago? It's the same night, so Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's it's fucked, man. Thanks for the dance, sugar. But Remy was right. Some things are deeper than skin. Are you kidding me? What? I, I fucking. I, I, what? Wow. <laughs> oh. Am I watching X Men or what is this? What is this? This is the Young and the Restless Mutant Edition. That's what this is. What the hell is it? I man? was a, I was gonna go like Vampire Diaries, but yeah, that works too. Oh, but, yeah. I mean, it all applies. Vampire like, Diaries, Gossip Girl, Riverdale. <laughs> yeah, all right. Why would you do this? Why would you do this right in front of Remy and then just say, "Oh, you know what, J.K., I'm out." <laughs> After literally stomping on his fucking heart, being like, "Lol, never mind." I, like I said, no. Certain characters in this uh, show are not thinking rationally, and I'm going to leave it at that. <laughs> it's a common trend among these characters, and I will also leave it at that. With the fucking no cable. Yep. <laughs> I, okay. Uh, uh, time out. Yeah, I. All uh, right. <laughs> Uh, does not compute. Does not compute. <laughs> error. Error. I know. I like my brain is doing the thing. It's literally about like exploding right now. <laughs> oh. Delete. Delete. <laughs> oh, got like that, like in Austin Powers with the fin box. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right. 
Oh man. <laughs> I mean, I thought I thought they I thought the whole point of introducing their son was to introduce Cable, not be like, "Oh, Cable, that dude we always knew this whole oh, time." Here he is. We've always known him. Oh, God. What the fuck? I thought Doctor Who's continuity was was freaking screwed up. Jesus yeah. Christ. Yep. I... Oh God, I'm gonna have an aneurysm. Uh... <laughs> What the hell is going on? Yeah, at least he went out better than Yamcha. I can't. Oh, <laughs> that was me, <mean>, TC. <laughs> um, True, but mean. <laughs> he's out of line, but he's not wrong. <laughs> not at all. <laughs> Oh man, <laughs> that episode. Oh, yeah, so it picked up at talk, the end. Talk about a bipolar episode! Damn, that was more yeah. bipolar than the freaking Jubilee episode from last week. I was just gonna say that. Yeah, right. Like <laughs> just the, the transitioning of it all is like, what the fuck? Exactly. <laughs> Oh, at least this seemed deliberate. Like, at least this was like de- very deliberately like. Yeah, it was. There was some coercion with this episode to some degree, unlike you know prior the previous one. <clears throat> but I mean, yeah. I mean, I get the comic books jump around. You got, you know, you know, plot A over here, plot B over here, and you know, C and D are going on over here, but. Yeah, this is like two extremes. Yeah. <laughs> it really is. Like we got makeshift Mori over here and then the f- the Anaya, you know, the uh, dropping of the freaking A bomb over here on <laughs> on Genosha. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> oh man. Like, I, but I still can't get over the fact that like Magneto and Rogue were just about to like have sex on the dance floor, but she's like, nah, never mind. Nah, JK, I'm out. <laughs> just kidding. Sorry to fuck with your feelings as well. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> All this man did was finish the job. Oh, gosh. Wow, I'm vicious today. I don't know why. I mean, hey, sometimes <laughs> it's been clearly warranted from this episode, so you won't get anything from me. No. <laughs> <clears throat> this is such a bipolar episode. Oh my god. Yeah, it's like I don't even know what it, what else to say. Like it's just two extremes, like very cold and very fucking hot. It's like <laughs> Oh, oh, oh. Very, very bipolar. Very, uh, it's going through the very big feels again. A lot of the feels. Magneto is comic book dead. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yep. Um, Gambit may or may not be comic book dead. Probably is comic book dead because he's too popular not to be. Right. Uh, <laughs> Right. <laughs> yeah, I, I can't I can't think of a of a logistical way in the X Men universe to bring him back like in a relatively quick time. Good time, yeah. I, I mean it, it might be a while, but I mean they brought Gene back, so Yeah, but Gene's at the wild card up part of the Phoenix Force, so where Gambit doesn't have that. And it's comic kind of like books, they'll find a Dragon Ball. Oh yeah, no. I mean, they could they could find a way to do it, but he's not going to be back next week. No, no, no. Like, but, oh, who knows how the time take, frame moves in this show? So, want yeah. to bets as to whether or not the professor returns next week or the week after, or next episode or the one after? I'm going. I don't know. I feel like I'm going final episode. Maybe <laughs> final episode. So let's see. And the thing is, like, I really feel bad for freaking Gambit because he's been nothing but classy this whole fucking time. He really has. Yeah. He really has. I mean, the worst he's done is a couple childish snipes. But, I mean, he knows his girl's cheating on him. 
and handles that with class. He handles getting broken up with with class. For God's sake, he handles getting watching her make out with the guy she dumped him for with class, and then he gets fucking stabbed through the chest. <laughs> yeah, he's been he's been stand up. Stand yeah. Up. I, I, I mean, at, at least he went out like a boss too. Like he didn't go out. Yeah. You know, he didn't get punked. He was like, "Hey, he he basically he did what Vegeta tried to do to Majin Buu. That's what he did. Uh, don't mess with my boy. <laughs> don't mess with you. my boy. <laughs> How dare you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Vegeta was going through quite the character development. All right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You know, the, you know the difference? You know the difference? Remy actually killed his. Jeez. <laughs> Just had to double down, huh? <laughs> I told you I'm vicious today. Jeez, you are vicious today. <laughs> man, who, who, man, who pissed in your, who pissed in your cereal this morning? <laughs> oh, oh. oh man I feel like it started with the whole gene situation earlier I feel like <laughs> in the episode yeah <laughs> uh, I used to think my life was a tragedy oh <laughs> 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 uh, Oh man. Yeah. I'm sorry guys. I don't know what's with me today, but No, you're good. You're good, <laughs> man. You're you're fine. <laughs> oh right, this has by far been like the most amusing episode yes. <laughs> thus far. And I still enjoyed it. I, yeah. still no, enjoyed I, it. I, I did too, even if part one was just wrong, young and the restless mutant edition. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. In fact, there's your title right there. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Yeah. That's true. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, and somehow I'll try to get like a young and a restless background and put, you know, different mutants' faces on it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, Remy really did go out like a boss. Yeah. Yeah, I did. I really liked that scene. It was very well executed. And they didn't. They didn't linger on it either. He just was like, he basically said, "Fuck around and find out." And he was like, "Nope, I'm gonna take you out too." Well done. Yep. Very well done indeed. I just want to point out the producer of this show was Danielle Costa. So, just uh, <clears throat> I think I called that earlier. <laughs> you did. Yep. So, like I said before, a lot of irrational thinking involved with certain characters. And uh, yeah, I see why. The only thing that would have made this better and worse at the same time is if Psychorot did like, did like waste the TV crew. Mm -hmm. Like when you look back at them. Yeah. As if he just would have just, just wasted them right there. <laughs> it would have made it both better and worse. Yeah, at the what same are you time. doing? Uh, loose ends? <laughs> yeah. No witnesses. <laughs> Gotta tie him up. Yep. <laughs> Call me Colander. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> uh, I just watched the Saiyan saga. I gotta fucking take care of these people. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, we got well. We got got freaking freaking Yamcha and Chaosu walking around. So why not? <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> oh man, yeah, that scene was awesome. That scene was awesome. You know, I, I, I they executed that really, really well. Uh, earnestly, that Gambit when Gambit was classy from beginning to end. And yeah. He made a couple snipes, but I mean, they were very much warranted under the circumstances. Yeah, no, I, I agree. I mean, even the gravity of what happened, even though the way they threw Cable in there was <laughs> just kind of random, was like, okay, so we know he's Cable, but like even the events, you know, following just like the gravity of what happened and, yeah. you know, the intensity and severity of it all, like he, that was very well executed. So, um, yeah, that confused me. The the cable thing, 
That confused me. I so they knew Cable this whole time. It, it it like seemed like they did, but at the same time, she was like, "Oh, you lived," or "Oh, you're back." So like, I I mean, who knows? Who and, knows? and it's not like he, he was born with the name Cable. Like that's his like correct. That's his ex name. Yeah. Like yeah. So unless he was in the original show, which I'm not sure. Well, he, I'd have I to he, I'd have to rewatch it. I, I guess. think he was actually. Yeah. Oh, okay. Then yeah. then that's fair. Um, but he had no point. It was like, yeah, I'm your kid. <laughs> the best the best thing that I can t- that I can tell you to do, TC, is literally. I don't know where you are with Doctor Who, but just just go to season six of Matt Smith. And then this whole thing with cable, and that will make a lot more sense. It will make a lot more sense. Yeah, yeah, that's how it's done. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Just watch the beginning of season six to the end, and it this whole thing will make much more sense. But... I agree. I agree. And there's five. Oh. No, go ahead. Go ahead. As bipolar as this episode was, I I still very much like enjoyed it. Uh, oh yeah, for comedy in part one and well executed drama in part two. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're getting a lot of both. <laughs> uh, so, do you think better or worse than? Uh, well, not worse, but what about compared to last episode? Better. It didn't have Jubilee. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There you go. I I agree. I, agree. I just find it I just find it weird that Cable showed up for a sentinel attack. Yes. Like when he first showed up and he said 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 are they here yet or is he here yet? I'm like my first thought when that thing when the sentinel cuz I couldn't tell it was it, it was a sentinel at first. My first thought was that it was apocalypse. Yeah, because I'm like, why is Cable warning us, warning them about Sentinels? Right. I don't get it. I I feel like Apocalypse would be too big a threat to establish this late in the game. Um, for the season, I mean. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, I could. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That would make sense. Yeah. Um, maybe like as a cliffhanger, like going into season two, because I this has got to get renewed. Like it's actually well executed. Oh, there's yeah. yeah, yeah. Please do it. That's why you're just seeing tons and tons of like X Men '97, just like merch and everywhere. You know, yeah, everywhere. Like <laughs> they are and, trying to capitalize off this. And aside from the Jubilee section, none of it has felt like filler. Like it, no, no, it all no. Feels like it's going somewhere Correct. again, except Jubilee. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know why we needed that in there, but oh, you mean uh, uh, see, 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 what are they called today? TC, um, Fr- Fr- Wreck It Ralph, uh, the 2.0. <laughs> yep, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> although that's kind of an insult to Wreck It Ralph, right? it is, but I mean, they could totally rip it off because it's because it's their own stuff, but still, still, yeah, still. No, I agree. I agree. But uh, yeah, I mean, I got, I got nothing else, fellas. Yeah, I think, I think I'm good. This was a good one. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Well, we thank you guys for tuning in. We do ask that you smash that like button, subscribe. Leave a comment. Let us know what you guys think. Share this video out there. Hit that bell for notifications. And you guys take care. Bye, everybody. See you later.